End-to-end -end models that map directly from pixels to actions hold the capacity to learn complex manipulation skills, but are known to require massive amounts of data. This makes them hard to deploy in the real world since data collection is difficult to scale. While integrating object-centric representations such as poses, key points, or descriptors have shown to improve sample efficiency, these often impose additional data collection burdens and struggle to address unseen objects, highly deformable objects, or piles of stuff. So then, is there other structure that we can incorporate into our end-to-end -end models to improve data efficiency without imposing the limitations of object-centric assumptions? In this work, we consider the spatial structure of the manipulation problem. Manipulation often involves rearranging objects, which can be thought of as rearranging a chunk of 3D space. For example, placing a mug under a coffee machine, turning a doorknob, or pushing a pile of objects. Previously, roboticists have relied on object-centric representations to describe these spatial displacements. But in this work, we propose to infer these displacements without any assumptions of objectness by directly rearranging visual data. To this end, we present the transporter network, a simple model architecture that learns to attend a local region of interest, then predict how it should move in the next time step, where the local region can encompass an object, part of an object, or multiple objects. A key aspect of the model is that it preserves spatial structure of the data. Rather than predicting continuous values, it instead rearranges the deep visual features of the local region and overlays it across the scene to find the best target placement configuration. We call this the transport operation. Conceptually, this can be thought of as an exhaustive search over the entire space of possible displacements, which can be efficiently implemented as a convolution, making it fast to run on a GPU. In practice, these dense features can be computed from fully convolutional networks, which are 43-layer ResNets in our case. Preserving spatial structure throughout the entire model enables it to better exploit equivariance for inductive biases that are present within the symmetries of the data for more efficient learning. The model can then parameterize robot actions, such as pick-and-place, for rearrangement tasks, which can be directly trained end-to-end -end from demonstrations. For example, simple behavior cloning enables it to learn tasks such as inserting the block into the fixture, or multimodal tasks like aligning any corner of an arbitrary box to a corner marked on the tabletop, or tasks that rely on visual cues, such as putting red blocks into green bowls. The transport operation provides a natural way to learn pick condition placing with very little data. For example, if the task is to pick up a plate then stack it on top of another, learning placing with scalar value actions would require sampling both good and bad initial picks to achieve well-behaved policies, otherwise the plates wouldn't stack. This sample complexity has previously made it very difficult to deploy learning-based placing methods for practical use in industry. On the contrary, the desired overlays look similar regardless of the initial pick. Detecting a good overlay simplifies the vision problem, making the structure of transporter nets highly data efficient for learning such rearrangement tasks while still being able to generalize. For example, the model here was only trained from 10 human demonstrations. Even though transporter nets are stateless models, they have the capacity to learn multi-step sequential tasks using closed-loop visual feedback, such as moving disks for Towers of Hanoi, palletizing boxes, or assembling kits of new objects not seen during training. Policies tend to learn emergent recovery behaviors due to baked-in invariances. It can also learn tasks that use any motion primitive defined by two end effector poses, such as pushing piles of small objects into a target set, or reconfiguring a deformable rope to connect the two endpoints of a three-sided square. We also show that it extends to six degree of freedom tasks, and validate our results with experiments on real robots. Experiments on 10 vision-based manipulation tasks with 1, 10, 100, and 1,000 demonstrations show that transporter nets are orders of magnitude more data efficient than other end-to-end -end methods, including those that use ground truth object poses and batting boxes as input. Some tasks require generalizing to unseen objects, and all tasks require generalizing to new configurations. Transporter nets are capable of achieving over 90% success on many tasks with just 100 demonstrations, while the baselines struggle to generalize with the same amount of data. We also show that simple tasks, such as placing a block into a fixture, can be learned from just one demonstration. Analysis shows that previous end-to-end -end architectures, such as COMP MLPs, can interpolate between nearby training data points, but tend to learn spurious correlations in the low data regime. Transporter nets is not without limitations. For example, it is susceptible to noisy 3D data, it has only been demonstrated for sparse waypoint-based control with motion primitives, and it remains unclear how to extend it beyond spatial action spaces to force torque actions. For more details, please check out our paper. Thank you.